So before I start, I want to say that this video is for the glory of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach. This is all his work, the whole his merit, all his glory. I'm doing this out of who's uh, led me to uh, of encouragement to let miracles are possible. I am a walking miracle. As a sinner like everybody else, focusing on myself. So I do this video and I'll be talking personally, but it's it's not of my merit. There's no boasting here. Obedience to what the Lord asked me to do for everybody. I invite you to watch the entire video and the next one. Exactly what happened to me and how the Lord saved me. So for those who um, don't know me, share my testimony of how I met the Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll understand this even better. What happened about um, a year ago? Up until August 16, 2021, I had absolutely nothing because I was born and I grew up in a Catholic family. So I was taught, as a matter of fact, my mom reports swore at As an Italian boy, so not not an Italian word was Jesus. Uh, now, of course, I pay, paid no attention to that until after I was. But as I was saying, I grew up in a Catholic family and forced to go to uh, Catholic church. There, required and go to uh, mass. Sunday, um, none of which I I liked in any. Form. And I always remember uh, as a young adult, maybe a nightmare was that uh, priest. And in that sense, I would miss be missing out on be having girlfriends or all the things that I thought I would be doing. And most of my youth doing. Eventually, I became an architect. I started architecture, and I really loved that. From the time that I went to college all the way until when I was last year, on August 16, 2021, when I was 49 years old. So from, let's say, 19 to 49, uh, 30 years, I had in pursuing uh, any kind of relationship with God. I did know who Christ was, and I actually believe perfectly fine with that. I thought that I was just good enough to eventually. I did not have to be worried about that, and that I would I would make my own relationship with God according to my own needs. And when something, I would uh, cry out to Him and ask for things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes. Of course, I never read the Bible heard the stories of the Bible from priests in Catholic church, whatever I was told. I had no idea what the Bible actually said, but my um, great aunt that would uh, read us a story of Daniel, uh, Moses, and things like that. So I remember sitting down on Sunday afternoons with her, and she would just, uh, other than that, just like every Catholic in this world, actual says, and if they read it, they read portions or parts. Everybody, but the vast majority, let's say, I also had no idea what it meant. I had no idea what being born again meant. I have no clue what the blood is from the movies and a little bit of the. A... The most important thing is, I lived a life which for me so worldly and filled with all kinds of sins that I think they were. In fact, I was self-righteous 
entitled and doing incredibly well. And all I care about was money, fame, success, becoming the great, pursuing a career that would just launch me into fame, bring all the benefits of that. As a matter of fact, um, I had tremendous success, uh, perhaps not at the level that I ended throughout my career, uh, immense success, including starting somewhere Instagram account, which grew to some 40,000 followers, which grew, grew to 180,000 followers. Now, as I want, and this is not for boasting, but just to give you a background, that perfectly fine, not searching for God, not searching for a change, a spiritual change. On the flip side, I was completely immersed. Uh, what I now understand it to be witchcraft and all and, and all sorts of law of attraction, universe, um, obviously nonsense, as I know now, very sinful practice thing is at the time I thought they were actually perfect. And as a matter of fact, I had my own version of who God for me in all sorts of ways it would be there there for me the truth is god actually was there and he saved me many 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 times from many days. I attributed that to my own thinking and my own mind so around 2019 um around april my wife went through a very very serious um medical that threatened her life and she and recovered again this was the Lord behind the scenes of course we didn't know that but after that uh, perhaps you know a few months in the Bible and she started from Genesis and she would come to me from time to time and tell me that um, I needed to because if not I would be left behind and uh, would cut me off from her life and at the time the only thing I could tell her, somewhat, you know, laughing at her and really not paying a lot of attention. And I told her, I know God. I know God very well. I'm just interested in my career. Uh, worry, I've got to leave me and leave me behind. What it is. Um, I really, I really did not care uh, much for that. So I went about my day and I continue the pursuit of my career as I mentioned earlier. And this led me to August 16 of 2020. So it was around 9 p.m. and we were all about to lay down, just re relaxing. And it was a summer. Day. And uh, my wife was next to me, was reading her Bible, and I was either movie or YouTube or some architecture video or something along those lines I don't remember all of a sudden in the middle of this I heard this voice in my head so it wasn't an out in my head which said that she's reading and that was the Bible that my wife was said this is the Word of God decide going to read it and follow it or you don't and then the voice disappeared I was, you know it was it was a clear voice At the moment I didn't know what to think I thought maybe it's my own thoughts or I don't know where this it was so uh, assertive and clear and the voice I had to decide and in And as the voice stopped speaking, I said, this is the word of God. It just opened my, as if, as if blinders fall off the word of God. Not a book, not a scripture of sort that, you know, somebody put together over years. It's a record of a tradition, um, but clear. So the next morning I woke up and an app 
uh, on my phone. I didn't have an actual Bible. But I started reading from Genesis. Because when you read Genesis as the story that you need to, to filter through some idea that you have through science or other things, when you read it as the Word of God for what it is, all of a sudden, your mind, your eyes, everything, Genesis 1-6 uh, with the firm introduced, I realize that the, the Bible not only is the word of what the world is, the earth is, in that very second, I started questioning for the first time the words of the Lord. My life changed uh, since that first and bought myself a, a Bible. Uh, eventually, I didn't know any better, so I bought a, any Bible. I think it was an and I, I recommend, uh, but but it was fine for for the purpose of the time. I reading and I read every single day. I just couldn't stop reading. In fact, um, it took me eventually uh, about a year, uh, a little bit less than a year. So. But it was reading. I started to really understand it. I started to understand that the Holy Spirit for my journey uh, started. Video, I'll tell you what happened after that. I hope this uh, encouraged you guys. Life is no longer the same. I live for the Lord, as you perhaps you can see. It is a journey of every day, and I try to understand more and more from Him. It took me uh, to be coming. I received the Holy Spirit that day, uh, just because the radical sin started to look uh, horrific in um, yelling at the children or patients or uh, you know losing my patient in traffic or things like that. That but that's what we do as human beings. Now all of a sudden they start. Horrific, uh, and and that I know was the Holy Spirit convicting me, and guiding me. The next in the next video, I'll.